Thank you very much. Well, good evening and welcome to Thursday Night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Well, I had a great time with our Olympic and medal winners and uh, helped out some great charities at the same time. Uh, those people are really, truly outstanding competitors in the Olympic Stadium and in the Millionaire Arena as well. Tonight we're joined by another outstanding type, Stan Floride from San Francisco, California. Yes, sir, Stan, it's good to see you again. Stan was here about a week ago. How was it, Rich? Yep, and uh, started out real fast and real good, and it's nice to welcome you back. Stan, of course, from San Francisco, but you spent the week here in New York. Correct. Now, the last time you were here, you had uh, different color hair. There was a light that changed. <laughs> what was it, that red? Oh, it was that red. Oh, I'd be done. All right, good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. And live in large with the tears. Yeah. He's one of those true characters from, from um, San Francisco, from the Haight-Ashbury area. That's correct. And how is it now in, at the Haight-Ashbury area? Uh, uh, rents are up. Uh, the arts are being a little squeezed out by uh, the dot-coms. Sure. Mm -hmm. But are there still some authentic types like yourself there? A few left. A few left. Yeah, pick up a few rocks here and there. Yeah. But you spent the week here in New York. Huh? You had some fun, saw your children? Yes, my son. Very good. So uh, what do you plan to do with this money? You know, I think the first thing I'm going to do is stop being a weirdo freak. I'm just going to be eccentric. Ah. <laughs> well, we're all happy to hear that. How are you going to do that, Stan? What are you going to do? Well, as soon as you got the money, yeah. you're no longer a freak. You're That's eccentric. right. You're, a, you're an eccentric. You're an eccentric. <laughs> All right, good. Well, let's see how far you can go, okay? Now, you've won $1,000, and you're just 10 questions away from winning $1 million. Once you reach the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money, Stan. You have all of your lifelines left, and that's good. 50-50, ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. So if you want to play along with Stan, go to abc.com right now and click on to our enhanced TV game. I think you'll enjoy it. Stan, are you ready to go here? Ready to go. Audience, are we ready? Sure we are. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Here we go. Okay, Stan, for $2,000, what catchphrase was used to describe a key category of voters in the 1996 presidential campaign? Soccer moms, hockey dads, web heads, weekend warriors. Well, I know that Al Gore invented the web heads, uh, but that was more recent. Uh, hey, soccer moms, final answer. Yes, you got it for $2,000. Very good. Soccer moms, very big. Congratulations. All right, we're up to $4,000 right now. What castaway was the final survivor on the CBS 2000 series Survivor? Was it Sue, Richard, Kelly, Rudy? You know, I've been watching this show so much, I didn't even know this show existed for a long time. Glad to hear that. Uh, but B, Richard, final Bye. answer. Yes, sir, it was Richard. He won it. Stan Floride going for $8,000. When peanut M&Ms were first introduced in 1954, they were available only in what color? Red, orange, brown, yellow. Nineteen fifty four, Stan. Yeah. You were just a weird little guy then. That's right. You didn't have enough hair to die. Hmm. I'm gonna ask the audience. Why do we do that? Audience, Stan needs your help. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 58% feel it was brown. Yellow came in second at 24. That was my choice. I'm going to go with C, brown. Final answer. Yes, $8,000. They were brown. They didn't become colorized until 1960. Hey, Stan, we're doing great here. Seven away from a million, going for 16,000. This is it. If you wanted to find out if an animal is an ungulate, what part of its body would you look at? Tail, feet, fur, ears. B, feet. Final answer. Whoa. 
Whoa. Yes, $16,000. Angula. Angula Latin for hoof. Boy, you nailed that one good. How are you feeling? Pretty strong right now? Yeah. Still having a, I'll feel better when I reach 32. I know. I, I, well, okay, <laughs> let's not waste any time. Let's get right to it. $32,000. Which of the following actors has not played Al Capone in a feature film? Jason Robards, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Rod Steiger. Hey, Jason Robards. Pretty confident? No, but... <laughs> None of the other three. I know that the other three, I know that De Niro has, I know that Rod Steiger has. You didn't say anything oh, about Pacino. Well, Pacino's in Scarface, and Scarface was Al Capone's nickname. Now, I'm going to use the 50-50 first. Why do we Why do, do that? that? Computer, take away two of those wrong answers for Stan. It's a, it's a yeah, challenge here. Right. Now, Al Pacino, as you say, was in Scarface. Right. change my answer. I'm going to take Al Pacino. Final answer. Final answer. Yes, it was Al Pacino. $32,000. When we come back, he's going for $64,000. He's won $32,000. He's five away from a million. As you can see, Stan is a, a genuine character from the San Francisco Haight Ashbury area. This is his calling card right here this little bottle. Which, uh, what is in there, Stan? Well, it's tobacco sauce. Tobacco sauce. Yes. And why do you choose this to use as your calling card? My, my business cards have always been made out of things that other people consider disposable. I've used pixie sticks, I've used golf tees, I've mm -hmm. used eight track tapes. Uh -huh. I've used a variety of things, and I design them and decorate them and use them as business cards. Is they that can't what you stapled into a Rolodex. What, what do you do for a living? I make art. Well, I pay the bills as a handyman working in a hardware store in the Haight Ashbury. Uh huh. But you're also an artist, right? I'm also an artist. You construct maps of, uh, of that colorful uh, neighborhood, Haight Ashbury, and who used to live where? Right? Yep. And incidentally, he is also a wizard, and at one time or another, you've been a stripper as well. I was much younger and skinnier and cuter back then, but uh, 1975 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, I worked in a club for women as a stripper, where I danced to a jukebox. Really? Well, that's good, Stan. And incidentally, earlier this year, just to refresh your memory, you talked about this about a week ago, but Stan did go to a Chinese astrologer who predicted all of these things that are happening to you right now, including this show. He said it would be an amazing year, and I took it with a grain of salt, but the things that have happened this year, this is All right. a cast in a movie, I spent a week alone with my daughter for the first time to bond mm -hmm. with her, mm -hmm. I uh, had two major debts forgiven, one by uh, a communications company and one by a federal government that I won't name, uh, and it's just been amazing, I got cast in a movie and... You know, so you're in a good film. cycle right now, Hi. and uh, one of your close friends, Christina, is back there. Hi, Christina, how are you Hi, doing? Regis. I'm fine, how are you? She's an artist and uh, very attractive. Oh. I know you're doing it. all right, Stan. <laughs> Being a good year for you. All right, now, Stan, here we go, $32,000 going for 64, five away from a million. Let's do it, Stan, let's play. <laughs> 64,000 in a process known as galvanization. What material is applied to steel or iron to protect it? See, you're an artist, you probably know this. Nickel, chromium, aluminum, zinc. E zinc, final answer. He knows that one. He's got it right, too, for 64,000. Okay, Stan, here it comes for $125,000. Where were the Dead Sea Scrolls discovered? Bethlehem? 
Qunran, Jerusalem, Galilee. In the caves at Qumran, B, final answer. Can't stop this guy, got that one right too. What'd you say this Chinese astrologer's name is? I, I remember where it is. I don't remember how to get there. In San Francisco? Oh, yeah. I'll take you there. You come visit. Let, let's see what you do first. You're three away. Hey, Stan, can you imagine this? You could become a millionaire. You, Stan Fluoride. I can afford rent in San Francisco. God knows what color you're going to make your hair if you win a million bucks. You got one lifeline left, Stan. We can still make that phone call, okay? But we're up to a quarter million dollars. Here it is for 250,000. Which of these fast food restaurant chains is named for its founder? White Castle, Wendy's, Taco Bell, Burger King. Well, Wendy's is named for his daughter. I don't believe there's a Mr. Taco. Lifelines are on the west coast where there aren't any white castles. Mm. Who would you call for this one, you know? Okay. Ronald McDonald's number? <laughs> Stan is hot! You know, just let me review where you are financially. You have won $125,000 right here. You're going for $250,000. And if you miss, you'll lose 93,000 and go back to 32,000. Tell you who we should call. He's going to be on the test. <laughs> we should call your Chinese astrologer. Yeah, you go. Too bad he's not on the list. All right. Pretty sure it's White Castle. We're reading the article about him in the Smithsonian a few years back. I'm sure enough to say A, White Castle, final answer. C. No, believe it or not, it's Taco Bell. Oh, it's Taco oh, well. Bell. Oh. Hey. Dad, I wanted yeah, you to win a million. All right, then. Me too. All right. Hey, good luck to you. That's a big chunk of change for me, man. That's good. Enjoy. Right. 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 Right.